Dribbble has had a pretty big impact on my career as a designer. It opened me up to a bunch of different designers that I would have never gotten from my peer group within the smaller town that I was working from at first. A bunch of great people there, but Dribbble really opened up that network. The work I've been enjoying doing lately for the past like three or four years is uh, design illustration. It's, um, it's not quite design, it's not quite illustration, it's this interesting uh, intersection of design and illustration where we are illustrating for products and companies and brands, but we're more concerned with like strategic value of illustration. So it's very goal orientated, process orientated, looking at illustration as a system itself. It almost feels like this new discipline has like a lot of potential to like be very fulfilling to creative people, like design focused people. And I think I'm going to be continuing to do this kind of work uh, for a while. It means being free. I, I like being able to like make my own choices, make my own decisions, work on the stuff I want to. And it really gives a level of freedom that I didn't have when I was working with a company. You know, some of the perks and everything are super great working with a company, but I like to kind of have a little bit more control. Meetings. Full time, I would say like 70% of my time was spent in meetings, talking about meetings. Of course you need to do your discipline good, but you also have to carry a bunch of different hats, like being a good um, bookkeeper, being good at uh, talking to people, uh, being able to explain what you're doing from the design side, but also from the business side. I think it's fun if you want to get into freelance just to do your craft 24-7, that's probably not going to happen. You have a lot of extra stuff to do. When I first started freelancing, the most difficult thing was like getting a support group or a peer group that you can kind of rely on, talk to, ask questions. Uh, trying to figure all that stuff out on your own could be super hard. But if you have a network of freelancers that you can rely on, it will save a lot of time and a lot of heartache. Another difficult thing in freelancing is the slumps. If you've been doing it for a while, you'll have times where no one's paying you and times where everyone's paying you and sometimes they both kind of suck. But uh, being able to have a consistent, steady stream of work and be able to reliably schedule that stuff too is super beneficial and super hard.